in Berlin. A breakthrough deal to stop the bloodshed in Syria. I'm Helena Humphrey. Good to have you with us. After marathon talks in Geneva, the US and Russia have reached a deal on Syria they're describing as a breakthrough. It includes a nationwide cessation of hostilities due to take effect on Monday. And the two countries have also agreed to coordinate their targeting of banned Islamist groups. Now, Syria's main opposition has cautiously welcomed the deal, but one rebel group says it doesn't believe Damascus or Moscow will abide by it. Well, let's bring in Simon Mabin now. He's a political analyst at Britain's Lancaster University. Simon, thanks for being with us. Now, of course, both the Russians and the Americans need to get the groups that they respectively back behind this for any kind of deal to work. Um, let's talk about the Russians first. Will they be able to make the Assad regime respect this deal, do you think? Side, though, of course, the Americans will have to hold back um, Syrian rebel groups. They'll have to untangle them from influence from Islamist militants. I mean, the situation is so incredibly complex. Can it be achieved? It is. not been able to do for a long time, but looking at political transition in Syria, the West will want President Assad to step aside. But of course, the Russians are an ally of Assad. So would they ever accept this? The UN Security Council has denounced North Korea's nuclear test on Friday, which was Pyongyang's biggest so far. Now, with many countries calling for tougher sanctions, the council is now working on a new resolution aimed at containing the threat. North Korea says the test was in response to what it calls US aggression. That's a reference to joint US-South Korean military exercises in the region. Even so, the blast drew a fresh wave of global condemnation. To Saudi Arabia now, where over a million people have begun the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. Now, it's a journey taken each year by Muslims from across the globe. This year, however, there are no pilgrims from Iran. Its long-running feud with Saudi Arabia hit new depths last year after a deadly stampede left many Iranians dead. Now, this year's Hajj, many say it's a shame politics is getting in the way of religion. Pardon. Sports news now, and we start with an important early season clash in Germany's Bundesliga. Defending champions Bayern Munich were at Schalke. Plenty of Bundesliga action still to come this weekend, of course. The pick of today's games sees Wolfsburg hosting Cologne. In Turning to the Paralympics in Rio, where one of the most eagerly awaited events is the 400-metre sprint. And a young German athlete is aiming to take a crown left by fallen superstar Oscar Pistorius. We'll be back with more news for you at the top of the hour. You're watching DW News live from Berlin. Stay with us if you can.